Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. Let's talk about Windows 11 and how it is beneficial to a developer. So let's talk about all the features and improvements that Windows 11 will bring for a developer. Now Windows 11 is still in the insider preview so a lot of the features may enhance also so let's talk about that. So the first thing is the Windows Terminal. Windows 11 will bring the Windows Terminal default into the system. So you don't have to go to the Microsoft Store and install the Windows Terminal. It is baked directly into the system and you know how bad command prompt is so default implementation of Windows Terminal is really good. So whenever you do the right click in the default context menu windows terminal is available and you can open windows terminal from that particular location suppose if you are in a particular folder and you right click you can open windows terminal from there itself now windows terminal with the default implementation will bring a lot of features like directly using the command prompt or powershell or a wsl distro that you have already installed in the system all those different terminals all those different windows we can directly open from the windows terminal so it is a really good implementation the next thing is the mounting of the linux system as we have seen in the past like windows have implemented the wsl system and wsl 2.0 system in the windows operating system so we can use any of our linux distributions so earlier we were able to install any of the linux distros and you can open in any of your terminal but now whatever the linux distros that you have installed either it be a wsl or a docker that you have installed all that list you can see in the file explorer itself and you can traverse to that particular file system and you can interact with the system itself so every time you don't have to tinker around using the terminal itself if you want to go directly using the file explorer there is a mount system available you can go from there itself directly the next one is the multiple desktops now earlier windows 10 was also having the multiple desktops but the extra features has been added in the windows 11 is like we can create multiple desktops and we can name those different desktops as well suppose i want to create a work desktop environment and a home desktop environment differently then i can able to do that as well i can rename those particular desktop environments and i can open the different apps accordingly i can also change the wallpapers of the different desktop that i have created now these are just a features available in the insider preview but there are a lot more features missing in this particular desktop environment as well so suppose if i have the capability to pin the different program menus in the taskbar based on the different desktops that would be a really good advantage so i can pin all the applications that i want to use in my work environment or i want to use in my personal environment that i can differentiate accordingly and i can use that so if this feature is coming in the production release or not i'm not sure but if this feature comes that will be a really good advantage the next feature i want to talk about is the multitasking capabilities now window management is always a really good feature in the windows operating system so now with this windows 11 build it is taking to the next level now when you hover over the maximize button you get a different options available how you want to manage your windows how you want to pin those particular windows with that after pinning those windows it will remember that what particular windows that you have pinned together and it will create a group together so you want to open that particular group whenever you want you can open that group as well now this will also remember when you have connected your external monitor as well but when you are using the single monitor itself then also it will remember that particular group that you have created and you can open that particular group itself now i feel this is still not perfect because when i try to use the same feature when i hover over the maximize button on vs code or intellij idea then that particular pop-up is not coming to pin that particular in any side of the window i had to do manually but it is working fine let's see what comes in the stable build as well the next one is the redesigned microsoft store now i hated microsoft store earlier in the windows 10 it was very crappy very buggy whenever i wanted to install any of the application it, it was very difficult to install it will always crash or it won't start installing or anything but with this particular build it is really stable and i felt downloading and installing the application from there it was very easy and the navigation was smooth the categorization was also really good and let's see what comes in the stable release because microsoft has committed like all the android applications and all the windows 32 application might also get added to this particular store but let's see how it is growing in the future but 
for now it is really good i generally go to windows store to install quick look and any of the linux distributions with this particular build i felt like microsoft is trying to get the developer community to stay within the windows system because there are a lot of features that will help a developer like what we talk about like default windows terminal is available mounting of the linux distribution is there there is a windows package manager winget is there default install in the windows 11 you don't have to install it these are the really good features that a developer can use to enhance their workflows now this build is still not perfect there are a lot of features that has been missing out the main thing i can think about is uh, the taskbar feature earlier in the windows 10 you were having the option to change the icon size in the taskbar small and large so it will change the size of the taskbar as well but currently there is no option such like that over here there is only default option like what particular corner icons that you want to pin and all those uh, general stuffs only so that is the one thing that i am missing over here so whenever i am recording any of the videos i change the taskbar icons to small so it takes very less space and we can get a really wide and really big space for our application that we are developing and the notification is also really good all the notifications are coming in the sidebar and it's a new layout i'm liking this particular notification area as well where you are getting all the notifications and it is not taking the entire space itself so widget section is also added over here currently i see that there are only widgets available with a specific size you are not able to change any of the size as well so if this comes in the later preview or later build it will be really good where we can change the size as well and i've been using this particular windows 11 build since the day the insider preview was available and i didn't notice any of the crashes or anything it is performing really smooth and i've installed this in my main machine itself i've recorded the previous video about golang with cobra with this machine it was about a really long video it performed very smoothly and i have edited the videos also in this particular machine everything is running smooth i have played the few of the games also like counter strike and all it's performing really smooth now i don't suggest you to install windows 11 in your main machine if you are doing any mission critical work then please don't install there are minor bugs available you won't notice it but this, there are few hiccups here and there but if you have a spare machine available then go ahead and install it and take a look to the newer version of windows 11 over here the new ui is really good it's really refreshing and if you have any questions or anything to discuss then let's discuss in the comment section below i just wanted to share my experience what i was getting in the windows 11 after installing it for a couple of weeks now now if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye